stop, stop moving. Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh oh, that's not good at all. Oh crap. I could be in quite a lot of bother now. I've just been blasted off the surface of that comet. <laughs> I can't get... Oh, maybe I can get back to my... Maybe my ship has also been pulled off the... Oh dear, there it is. It's quite a way away. Oh dear. So my ship was pulled off the... The, the surface of the comet by, I'm guessing, I don't know what, the gravity... of the sun and it's now being pulled into the sun and I dare say it's about to explode when it gets there I'm certainly not going to survive this trip am I oh hell Hello, welcome to Night's Arcade. We're in Outer Wilds. I'm Sleepless Night. We're going up in this lift. Get to the launch codes. Right. I always get turned around here. Is this way? No, of course not. It's this way. In the spirit of honesty, I should tell you that between the last episode and this one, <clears throat> which also in the spirit of honesty, I should tell you has been about 45 minutes <laughs> since I recorded the last episode. I have to recall them all at once at the moment because, you know, I, you know, reasons. If you've been watching, you'll know what the reasons are. But also in the spirit of honesty, I have to tell you that I, I just kind of had a thought after the last episode that I thought I'd share with you and I'm sure you'll be happy about, which is that I am going to spend a little bit of time in between these things just flying around. I did already, right? because I figured that it's always nice for you to explore with me and to experience things for the first time as I'm experiencing things. The problem with that is that quite often it means that, you know, I'm trying to find my way into somewhere forever, especially on somewhere like Brittle Hollow. You know, that place is a, is a, a labyrinth under the surface of there. So I've got to go there and explore some more. Uh, but... What I want you to know, then, from this point, what I want you to know is that I will not be exploring in the sense that I won't be reading stuff, I won't be uncovering mysteries. It's just basically me flying around in my spare time trying to figure out how to get to places so that you don't have to watch me, so that we still discover stuff together, so that when I read stuff on these scrolls and things on the walls and when I read, like, um, tapes left behind and stuff like that, then you're still seeing that at the same time as I am. We're still discovering that together. But you're not having to do the tedious bit of watching me constantly trying to find my way to somewhere every episode. I don't even know how to get there. So in the meantime, I am going to fly around and see the best ways to get to some of these places because I don't want to be lingering about, pondering about stuff that I've missed. So I just flew around for a bit. I flew to the Ember Twin briefly and I flew here on Timber Hearth and so one of the first things is that there's somewhere on Timber Hearth we haven't been I spotted it before but um, I never went closer to it, when I went closer to it I noticed there's like a, a no my I don't know how to explain it because I don't know what it's called the, the, you know the, we, if you've been watching this you know the stone or you're familiar with that a while the sort of stone that the no my use for the walls and things, the landing pads and stuff there's one of those on Timber Hearth. Um, and it's down in a big deep hole. So there is no my there are no my structures here, and they are here. Inside this enormous big well. So today we're gonna I don't know what's in there, but we're gonna go and have a look. Oh, so see, this is what I saw, that little landing no my whoop, landing paddy thing. Oops. Not a bad landing for me. Especially not in... Uh, what is it here? 1.8 gravity, 1.9. Pretty good. 
Got my suit on. Let's go. Explore stuff. Aha! A cave. Okay. Look at the cave! Oh, we've been here. Oh, we've been here, of course, down there. That's that's the uh, uh, that's the quantum growth. Oh, through the waterfall. Yes, yeah, so we've been there. The quantum growth. Oh, well, that wasn't good, was it? <laughs> Almost missed that entirely. Ow! Oh, God damn. Can't even get the landings right when I'm on foot. Okay. Another one of these things. Which. I don't know what they are. Oh, that's in the grove below me. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a warp location thing. I wonder where this warps to and from. It's probably not even active, is it? We could probably stand here all day. Is it sort of pulsing? Well, I don't know when these things are switched on and when they're not, or where they go. Maybe it doesn't go anywhere. Let's see what happens when the twins pass in front. The hourglass twins pass overhead. I don't know if this is the same as the warp towers. I know we can get back and forth using these because we accidentally got sucked into the one on Brittle Hollow that took us right back to the Whitehall station. So I know it works, but... There's no point. I can't go to the Atle Rock. I didn't... There's the satellite look. No. I don't think it goes anywhere anyway. We'll... If it does, we'll probably get shot here from wherever it goes. Yeah, that's the grove. That's back in the grove. That's the way I got into the grove the first time, I think. I think. Back that away, then. Trying not to fall into the quantum grove. Hmm. Okay. Back through the cave then. To the. Ooh, there's a door on the other side. It's a big hole. Ooh, I wonder where this goes. Why has nobody ever been in here? All the years they've lived on Timber Harbor, they've never been to this place. A big dark cave. Tiddler came to a big dark cave. Wow. Yeah, all this is on the planet that these people live on and they've never discovered it. I mean... Wait, have I been here before? Why does it all look so familiar? I'm never going to make it through that waterfall, am I? No, god damn. Zero G, like uh, in the Zero G cave. Well, that's just weird. I wonder what they were doing here. Looks like they were mining something. Well, I haven't just entered the bloody Zero G cave have I, by accident, just from a different direction. I can't have. No. Wow, moving slowly in here. Where do I get in there? Obviously that way. 
Oh, it's underwater. That's why I was moving slowly. Because I was underwater. Okay. That's very strange. Okay. Okay, there we go. Whoosh. And whoosh. Whee! Where does it go? Um. Wow. All right. Groovy. All this. Oh. <gasps> Scroll wall. We like those. <laughs> arf, arf. Oh my god. This place is massive. Oh, you know, I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. That's what they're mining here. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are surprisingly big. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're currently mining will be used to create a protective shell that will seal off the Ash Twin's core. From what? The supernova, presumably? Maybe? I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use Timber Hearth's ore for constructing the shell only. If, eventually, life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Nice. That's nice of the Hearthians, isn't it, that they've made that choice? All of this ore for the shell? I hope they measured the shield's area and planned accordingly. Ac oh, <laughs> I was going to say they spelled that wrong there, but he made a funny... I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. Yes, you should have. How else would he improve? Okay, maybe there's another scroll we can put in that wall. So what, is this a big mine? This is a big fat mine, isn't it? Ah, <gasps> the projection stone. Ash Twin Projection Stone. Now, I realised when I was going through the... Um, I realised when I was going through the edit for making the video the other day, when I picked up one of these Projection Stones, it was like the week before last, or whenever it was, last week, I don't know, whenever I put the Projection Stone in, right? So, we're on Timber Hearth, and what I realised is that I put the Projection Stone of the place I was in into the slot so assuming I don't know what's going to happen now but the last time I'm assuming the reason nothing happened is because I put the projection stone for the place I was already standing in Let's see what happens oh man this is freaky So what am I seeing now? The core of the Ash Twin, or what? Oh! Oh, I walked out of the field of influence. Oh, that's freaky. All right, so let's see if we can work out what it is that this allows us to do though is this a warp tower what am I looking at hmm and another one for the other side so there's another thing here now what happened My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oeno. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Oh, why is that one orange? 
This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest opening in the shell that protects the core could lead to disaster. With the protective shell built, Raimi says she's ready to seal all entrances used during its construction. After, she'll help inspect the barrier from the outside. Hmm. Okay. So, I mean, I'm still not clear on exactly what the projection stone does, then. Let's, uh... Maybe I'll just put it back there. Ooh. Right. So this was the first wall I came to. With all that gubbins on it. And we came from there. Go down. Let's go down and see where down goes, other than down, of course. Miners killed in the. Oh. Well, we're going that way. Because you know what happened when I went in there. Ship's that way, so I've got to get round to that opening somehow. Can I? Like, go over the side here to get there? Maybe I can. Ouch! Ouchies! We're just going back to where I came from here, aren't we? Slowly. It looked like. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else interesting in there. I could have gone back up the steps way there, but it's probably quicker. To go off the side of here again. Assuming I'm gonna make it. There we go. Back to the ship. Good grief. Hmm. Well, that's all very interesting. <coughs> Med kit and refuel. So, I mean. That's not leaving us with an awful lot of time to do anything else, is it? Probably get to the Ash Twins, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be running out of time now. So the Ash Twin has got to come around the other side of the sun before I can even reach it. Anyway, where's the interloper? Is it there? The interloper. Okay. Let's see if we can intercept the interloper. I doubt it, but you never know. Uh, yeah, the other thing is, you know, reading through the ship's log. So I've been doing a bit of that as well in the in the sort of 45 minutes I was away. And I will be doing a little bit more of that, I think, while I'm not, you know, if there's something important I think you need to see, I'll show you. But of course, you know, most of it, I'm guessing, won't be a great deal of interest to you guys. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, I'm guessing, you know, you don't really want to see me standing here for 20 minutes reading through every single one of these entries that know my mind. So, you know, I'm going to do a lot of that while I'm... Uh... So we're back on the thingy here. And, you know, there's... On the sunward side of this thing. There should be a way down. Sliding about. Whee. Now, I did wonder if before I had to. Um, oopsie. Nice bit of ice skating, though. I did wonder if before I had to. You know, when this thing gets closer to the sun, presumably this ice will melt. Um, but I did wonder if before I had to. There's a shuttle buried in the ice on the back side of this little comet so now what happens oh, I thought stop stop moving oh oh no 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 uh oh that's not good at all oh crap I could be in quite a lot of bother now. I've just been blasted off the surface of that comet. <laughs> and I can't get... Oh, maybe I can get back to my... Maybe my ship has also been pulled off the... Oh dear, there it is. It's quite a way away. Oh dear. So my ship was pulled off the... The, the surface of the comet by, I'm guessing, I don't know what, the gravity... of the sun and it's now being pulled into the sun and I dare say it's about to explode when it gets there I'm certainly not going to survive this trip am I oh hell yeah there's my ship yeah I think I ought to be getting away from here actually I don't want to get sucked in by the sun. I mean, you know, I also don't want to expend all my fuel. Trying to get away from the sun. I mean, it's not going to make any difference because, you know, now I'm drifting out in space. So, you know, I mean, presumably what happened there then was that my ship and, and then, of course, myself got pulled off the surface of the interloper by the gravity of either a passing planet or I'm guessing the sun since it was being sucked into the sun there and probably has hit the sun now I'm guessing it was pulled off the surface of the comet by the gravity of the sun <laughs> oh man you've got to be really careful what you're doing I mean I was going to say in this game but I guess what we all pretty much knew before we played this game <laughs> is you've got to be pretty careful what you're doing in space really but I guess you'd have to be especially careful in a tiny little star system like this where, you know, these planets are really small, the gravity is pretty weak, and you're always getting passed by, by other planetoids and they're getting flung around like nobody's business. But there you go. And that's it. Anyway, we have come once again to the end of life as we know it. I uh, bet you never thought you'd get tired of seeing the end of the universe. But uh, there it is. Anyway, <laughs> that's all for this episode. We did actually discover something new on Timberhearth, and I will poke around a little bit more and see what else I can see. Uh, in the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter at Knights underscore Arcade if you want to see what's going on there. Things do go on there, you know. Things happen. Stuff goes on. I occasionally share little videos that I consider a little bit too short and little clips and things to share on here and photographs and stuff little shots, screenshots and things that I don't share on YouTube for obvious reasons um, but you can follow me at nice underscore arcade if you want to follow me over there on Twitter if you aren't interested in following me on Twitter and you only want to stick to YouTube or if this is your first time to my channel leave a like if you like this video uh, check out some of my other videos 
you know subscribe if you're not already subscribed and ring the bell and you should get a notification every time i post new content but until next time from night's arcade this is sleepless night saying nighty night